this is not a circumstance where he's the victim or that this is government overreach. He- That's Trump appointed former Attorney General Bill Barr saying that any excuse used by Republicans or right wing Christians to justify what Donald Trump did in the federal indictment for the documents that he had at Mar-a-Lago are crazy. He had no right to those documents. Government tried for over a year quietly and with respect to get them back, and he jerked them around. And he Keep in mind, Bill Barr was one of the most politicized attorney generals of our generation. He gave Trump cover for the Mueller report when he put out a smokescreen of a summary days before the Mueller report came out, and for years covered for Trump from the Judicial Department of the federal government. When he faced his subpoena, he didn't raise any legal arguments. He engaged in a course of deceitful conduct that was a clear crime. The legal theory by which he gets to take battle plans and and sensitive national security information as his personal papers is absurd. It's just as wacky as the legal doctrine they came up with for having the vice president unilaterally determine who won the election. One of Trump's closest allies now saying he committed a clear crime. Yet you'll see right wing Christians in my comments saying, well, Bill Barr's a turncoat. He just doesn't like Trump. That's total crap. And why would they believe that? Because like Jesus said, if you eat the leaven of bad theology and ideology, eventually you'll be blind, no longer having eyes to see or ears to hear or a heart to want to understand truth. And we see that in those who would stand against what Bill Barr has to say today, including this about the why of Donald Trump having those documents. Trump has many good qualities and he accomplished some good things. But the fact of the matter is he is a consummate narcissist. He constantly engages in reckless conduct that puts his political followers at risk. He, he will always put gratifying his own ego ahead of everything else, including the country's interests. He's like a defiant nine-year-old kid who's always pushing the glass toward the edge of the table, defying his parents to stop him from doing it. He's a very petty individual who will always put his interests ahead of the country's. But our country can't be a therapy session for a troubled man like this. And by the way, Bill Barr is a staunch Catholic Christian. So what's it going to take, right-wing Christians, for you to open your eyes and ears and to hear the truth and be on the right side of history for a change?